Hey, what's going on? Guardians TVL here, and the next episode of IGN's first series on Destiny 2 has gone live. This one is titled Perfecting the Sounds of the Sequel, and it's basically all about the audio engineering for Destiny 2. On today's video, we're hearing from Bungie's head of audio, Jay Wineland, as well as the musical director and composer, Sky Lewin. And they go very much into detail about some of their approaches for how things will sound in Destiny 2. They say that Bungie's always had an important focus on creating unique sounds for Destiny. And that's certainly something I can agree with. I love the sound design in the first Destiny game. They're just weapons and whatnot that sound so unique. Stuff like the vroom of a fusion rifle will just, mmm, it's music to my ears. That or things like the oracles or like the hive tomb ship portals opening up. There's been a lot of really great sound design in Destiny. It looks like that's going to be a trend that continues in Destiny 2. They go on to talk a bit about how weapons will all sound different when you're using them versus when your enemies are using them. And really that's going to be a running theme in today's IGN video. They focus a lot in particular on PvP and the way audio design works in that, and some of the stuff they say is going to make the cop scene out there very, very happy. So, what do they have to say? Well, PvP is going to have a completely separate audio balance from PvE, and this is something that's been needed for a very long time. Right now in Destiny 1, if you play with headsets, you're listening for audio cues and whatnot, you might notice that most audio sound effects are really, really loud or really, really soft. You can hear like the explosion of a barrel halfway across the map just as loud as if it were in the room with you. And it looks like that's going to be directly addressed with audio balancing in PvP in Destiny 2. They went on to state that enemy actions will now always be louder than team actions, allowing you to strategize better based on sound. Right now in Destiny 1, the sounds of enemy actions and teammate actions can get a little bit mixed together, and it looks like that's not going to be too much of a problem when it comes to Destiny 2. Having your enemy actions like their gunshots, them popping their super, them throwing a grenade, having all of that play louder and more distinctly with you, mixed in with the fact that enemies using weapons will sound different to you and your teammates using weapons, should make it a lot easier to distinguish the sources of those sounds, making for a much better, more dynamic experience in the Crucible. But the Crucible wasn't all they talked about today. We got to hear a little bit about their philosophy for sound design in PvE and especially in story moments. Sky Lewin stated that the music's role is always meant to support the emotion or the direction of the experience. Rising during times of action or emotional hope, and then lowering during times of dread and maybe getting a little bit harsher during midst of combat or when you're dealing with specific enemies. It's never meant to be the sole focus of the story, but it's meant to help the story along and add to the overall experience that you're having playing through the roller coaster ride that is Destiny 2. There were a lot of really great musical pieces in Destiny 1, stuff like Excerpt from the Ecstasy, The War Mine, The Last Array, so many good songs that really just kind of tied in with certain, well, there were few and far between, but certain pivotal story moments in that game that really pulled certain scenes together. And it looks like we're going to be getting much more of that in Destiny 2. But hey, if you're missing some of those classic tunes from Destiny 1, you may not have to worry as they go on to make the statement that certain melodies from Destiny 1 will be returning in Destiny 2, but there's going to be a lot of all new handcrafted music. And finally, they talked a bit about how certain locales, certain zones will have melodic themes that are of course tied to them. You may think of Nessus, one of the new world spaces in Destiny 2 is going to be a Vex world space, so it'll have a lot of Vex sounding music. And also, of course, we know certain enemy types have their own themes, stuff like the Cabal Stomp, so different locales and enemies will have unique music styles applied to them, but those themes will be variable and will change to accommodate situations. Say you're on Nessus, like I said before, which is usually more Vex oriented, so it has a certain musical style to it. If, say, the Hive show up there, you'll get kind of a mixture of Hive and Vex music playing for you. Just creating unique and varying arrangements to suit the environment and the enemies that you're fighting. Which, of course, sounds pretty good to me. But alright Guardians, it's pretty much everything that was covered in today's IGN first video. And that's going to be the last one for this week. The next episode of their series will be on July 18th and it's going to be covering the Destiny 2 beta. So make sure you're staying tuned here where we are going to be continuing our coverage all on that. Going to be playing the beta all week next week. But alright, that's it for this one Guardians. Be sure to let us know what you guys think of Destiny's sound design down in the comment section below. 
But alright, I'm out for now. Thanks so much for watching, Guardians, and as always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.